if you can see this market we have an interesting move we had uh, a downtrend here and then now it seems like that the market has been moving sideways so usually in these cases um, we usually expect a reversal so we're expecting the market to go all the way up but then the question is when should you be executing the trade or when should you be making that decision to actually go long so if you can look at this range in the past i've spoken a lot about ranges and understanding the waves so that you'll be able to predict the next direction or the next possible breakout so if you can look here we had an interesting move here on the on the last low you can see that the last low is a little bit higher than its previous low so it means that it's likely that the buyers they are now getting gaining strength in the range and the sellers they are not able to push the market down because even them the sellers they tried here pushing the market down by giving us a lower high but then obviously that lower high was then broken by the buyers so this might be a sign that okay the buyers they are now gaining strength but it is not yet approved that we have to execute a, a buying trade why because we still have this high here and this high is very important because that's where the range began so if you can look back here that's where the market started to enter in a range from this downward impulsive move so this area here is very very important so once this area is completely broken then that's when we can say okay now the bus they are gaining strength how will you know that it's completely broken it is when you see maybe the market moving and giving you then a next low which is obviously higher than this one so we're expecting something like that and then once we receive that low which is higher than the previous one that's where we can now safely make decisions to go long but at the moment we can't go long because the market can still go all the way down um and continue with its impulsive move that that was uh taking place previously so the key to trading a range it is Firstly, identifying the strength inside the range and then waiting to see if the key levels they get broken and the key levels are the levels that begin a major move. In this case, the key level is this level here that is in purple because it began the range and we can see that the, the buyers were also rejected here. Uh, a couple of times so here and also they tried here going up but they were rejected so this is a very very important level so you have to wait and see if it is clearly broken so there are a lot of things that you can observe as the market move upwards you can also observe maybe some retest of this minor high here so as the as the market forms uh, a new high you can just wait maybe for a retest of that previous one so let's say it gives us a higher high and then it comes back here then you can execute your buy obviously you have to make sure that you put the risk management in place so that's how you deal with this you just wait for the major uh, level or for the key levels to be broken because that's how big moves begin and that's how big moves end so it's all about the major levels or the key levels. so that that's it about this video just keep it short and leave it here